better run, man. Life's a pain, but you got me. Yeah, life's a pain, but I got you. Hey, what's up, Parasites? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we're continuing these episodes that I'm trying to bang out that are all related to Venom 3 in some way. Although the next one will be a little bit more fun and just kind of speculation and what I hope or something I would like to see in the next movie. So we'll get into that in the next episode. But for this one, you know, because we already talked about, you know, Chuito possibly being joining the cast, you know, for Venom 3, which would be awesome if he does. And hopefully Jermaine Clement too. Uh, but that's just a rumor right now. We don't have any confirmation and we technically don't on Chewie either but I still wanted to make that video so we could have something to talk about uh, Venom 3 related wise. And then we also talked about the WGA strike in the last episode and kind of went through my thoughts and my um, the way I understand the strike and what's going on right now and how it may or may not affect the filming of Venom 3. So in this episode, though, I want to get into the code name for Venom. Uh, obviously, the first film went under the code name Antidote when they were filming the first Venom movie in the UK and then in Atlanta. Um, and I think they did some exteriors in San Francisco. They were calling the film Antidote. And the reason why this happens is because if you put Venom on something, you know, like if, if people are walking around and their gear says Venom 3 on it or whatever, and they're part of the set, that could get someone's attention. And then more and more people flock over. Uh, whereas if you say like, hey, we're filming a mayonnaise commercial or, you know, we're filming, uh, you know, a shoe commercial or something like that, um, or we're filming something called Orwell, which is the code name for this uh, third movie. If that's the case, then you go, all right, you know, then uh, I don't know what Orwell is, you know, so whatever, I'll, I'll just move on. And that typically is what happens. Now, if you see the star of the movie, that will get you to go, wait a minute, this isn't Orwell. Uh, but, you know, if you if you don't see them and there's the crew's doing, you know, uh, shots of the city or doing B-roll or anything like that, or crashing a car, they can say Orwell and most people just, you know, they might look for a few minutes and then go on their way. Uh, so that's typically one of the reasons why they do that with the code name. So the first film, like I said, had Antidote as the code name and the second film went under the name Fillmore. Um, so, uh, so this one is going by Orwell. So I think that might, if it's Orwellian, you know, if it's kind of referencing that, this might, that might give us a clue of, uh, you know, of the tone of this movie. Cause obviously Fillmore was like a, a location, you know, and that has like some significance to uh, the, the second film of, of, of Venom with uh, Let There Be Carnage. And the first film, Antidote, is kind of like, all right, they're kind of doing a, a you know, uh, science-y thing, you know, with uh, a lab and all that stuff. So, okay, cool. We got that. The antidote to, you know, human pain is a symbiote that can heal you or whatever, um, lead you into the next evolution of mankind, whatever it is. And Orwell could be something bigger, something grander, you know, something like Avi Arad always said he wanted to do, which is an invasion story and uh, and have that be somehow uh, the plot center around that. So who knows, you know, but Orwell is the code name for this third movie. And, uh, and that's all we know right now. That was rumored at first. So I was waiting to see if we saw more. And then there was shots of, uh, you know, Tom Hardy over in the UK and uh, fans saw him like at a, a shop or something and they took pictures with them and he had a badge on that said Orwell. So, um, so that right there kind of almost confirms, unless that's like a really good Photoshop job. Um, but it kind of confirms the, the code name for this. So, uh, so Orwell, when is it going to film? When is uh, Venom 3 going to film? Cause right now I think Tom is, they're doing meetings. He's wrapping up other things. He might still go and do reshoots on other sets. If he has the time or whatever, he may be just taking a break, doing his Brazilian jujitsu stuff. There's a lot of things. Tom wears a lot of hats. He is a very busy guy, um, but he's also a private guy. So whenever he's not doing stuff, he, you know, spends time with, you know, people close to him and, and things. So, uh, so which is well-deserved. Absolutely. And uh, so with Venom 3, um, it looks like at least uh, some of the rumors saying that this is going to start filming near the middle to the end of June. Now, a while ago, I had heard that that was kind of a plan. I, you know, if you remember, there was a couple months ago, I had said, hey guys, it's springtime. We're going to start rolling out with some Venom movie news. I didn't expect casting stuff so soon. Um, so that kind of caught me off guard. But I, I was kind of told to keep an eye out for you know, May, end of May, early June. Uh, originally, that's what I had heard about a potential start date. And I was like, okay, I'll just put it in the back of my head and, you know, and maybe I'll hint at it in a video, but I'm not going to make a video about that because I don't know if it's going to be true or not, or, you know, things happen all the time and change all the time. So I'm just like, eh, that's cool. I appreciate you telling me, but I'll wait and see what happens. And then here we are. It looks like more rumors and more stuff are coming out. More people are talking that this could start filming to mid to late June. Uh, some people even saying they have specific dates for it, but again, stuff changes all the time. And we don't know if the writer strike might end up affecting the start date of this movie. So 
For now, we're just going to say June to ballpark it around there, and that it might have a, a you know a two to three month uh, you know shoot date or you know sh uh, shooting schedule, and uh, which is pretty standard. I think the first movie did that, you know, uh, filmed in about that time, and the second one as well. So uh, so yeah, it looks like we're going to do they're going to do the same this time around and try to shoot everything before the holidays, before we get into like you know the end of the year holidays here in the in the U.S. and you know, uh, you know Christmas in general around the world uh, or places that celebrate around the world. So um. So yeah, this that looks like the plan right now, uh, as long as the strike doesn't affect the start date. And we talked about all that in the last episode, so if you missed it, you can go back and watch that episode and lend your thoughts in that in those comments. Because here, I just want to hear what you think about, you know, the Orwell title. If you think it's a, a hint at something Orwellian, something big and grand, uh, you know, I want to hear your thoughts on that. And then also the start date. You know, um, shooting in the summertime you know, gives us an idea of maybe the setting for the film. I still want to see like Venom in the snow. You know, I really want uh, like a Christmas Venom movie. So I hope there's a, a point in this movie where they hopefully film something uh, where it's snowing somewhere. Cause I just like the contrast of like Venom big, you know, solid black, you know, with like white veins coming off them standing in the snow of some kind. It just, it would look really cool. That's why I always like Craven. He's like running around half naked with lion fur over him. And in our script, Spider-Man four that we wrote, uh, he was running around in the snow barefoot. And I'm like, yeah, I like this. And this is a guy, he's that in the zone for hunting that he doesn't care. He's running through the snow and it, it, you know, blistering cold in New York at Christmas time. And he doesn't care. It just, it amps him up even more. And, uh, but I like the contrast of a guy who should be bundled up in snow and not, and it just, it, you know, it just gives that kind of contrast. I'm a big fan of contrast, as you know, if you're a longtime viewer of the show. Um, so, yeah, uh, what do you think of this? Like, I, I would like to to see this movie start filming, you know, in June. Uh, hopefully the writer strike stuff wraps up by then. And so it can definitely start filming in June. But um, it's it seems like they're taking their time, maybe looking at locations, you know, having me uh, last minute meetings, uh, taking a little bit of downtime, maybe, you know, Tom doing some training. People got to get physicals, you know, after they get cast in movies and stuff uh, or sometimes before. So there's a lot of moving parts for movie making, obviously. And we talked a lot about them throughout the years on this show. And and we'll continue to if, if more topics come up that you guys want to hear about. And I'll do my best to do some research if it's a, a title or position I don't know about. But we've talked about everything from PAs to editing to casting, you know, uh, you know, location scouting, uh, getting uh, people who walk by, you know, and if you get caught on camera, you got to get something signed by them so you can use that footage, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we've talked about all kinds of things like that. And uh, and this is just neat to, to hear the code name for the movie and a potential start date. It means we're here. We got here, right? We're almost at episode 800 of the show. We've been following these movies since Tom Hardy first released that video in black and white of him training and boxing with his trainers to get ready uh, for the physicality uh, of the role for the first film. And to think back from then all the way to now is amazing that we actually got a Venom 3. None of us were even sure Venom 1 would be profitable or do well or be liked by anyone. And it found its audience and it found, uh, you know, wide acceptance for the most part, even though people are critical of it a lot of people still like Tom and what they were trying to go for. And I think a lot of us want to see this movie in this franchise really hit its potential uh, of what it could be. And a lot of us, I think are still trying to hold on to hope that this third one could be it because it's the vision of Tom and Kelly, you know, people who in the beginning, he was the actor of the film. She was the writer of the film who came in at, towards the end and now they're producers and she's a director and, you know, he's more involved and she's more involved. And I'm, excited to see what they'll deliver. Uh, I really am because I, I know that, you know, seeing these two and, and their bodies of work and, and hearing them talk about stuff in the past, I can tell you right now, the passion is really high. So I, I hope it translates to a movie that's just fun, you know, just fun, but like a little creepy and scary and, uh, and delivers a good, you know, potential conclusion um, for this franchise, if it's meant to be a conclusion or if it's meant to be the next chapter in it, and the conclusion's a fourth movie or a fifth movie one day, whatever it is, you know, I'm excited to see where we go. So obviously we'll have more news soon. So, you know, stay subscribed to this channel so you don't miss out. I'll try to cover as much of it as possible as fast as I can. Uh, but there might some, it might, you know, some things I always skip if it's purely rumor um, or if I can't find a way to share it with another topic, like the rumor is it's starting in June, but I'm sharing it with the Orwell topic in this. So there's some substance here. So I try not to just, you know, do spammy, you know, every little rumor talk about uh, kind of channel. I'm not like that. Um, I try to vet a couple things and wait for the big trades to talk about it. And then we talk about it on here. But if I ever do a live stream, uh, which I'll try to do more of soon, 
if any rumors we can talk about on those for sure. So again, let me know your thoughts about Orwell, what it could mean. Is it a bigger, you know, is it alluding to a big you know, plot or a big story? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below and uh, we'll keep talking down there as always. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.